Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from the Sons of Technology to share with you something very exciting that has come out of Google for our distance and remote learning, and that is the integration of Google Meet and Google Classroom. We've been waiting for this for a while, and now it is here. I'm gonna show you how to turn it on, how to use it, and the promises Google gives to us, and a little bit of a bug at the very end that could cause some issues, so hopefully Google will fix those. So to turn this Meet on, you're gonna to come to the upper right corner of your Google Classroom and click on your class settings. You're gonna scroll down past your class details into general, and there you have a brand new option to turn on Meet. Um, it will give you a unique nicknamed classroom, um, which, um, will, which, which has the promise of participants not being able to join until the host has started, and also um, once everybody is gone and then the host leaves, nobody will be able to rejoin. That is the promise, but I'm gonna show you how at the very end, there's still a little bit of bugs to click out. So I'm gonna turn this on and click save. Once I've done this, the unique code will now be available right up at your dashboard underneath your stream. And you can see once the students log in here on my right side of my screen, they will have that unique code as well. So since this is a nicknamed Meet, um, the promise is that students will not be able to join this unless the host has initiated it, you, the educator. So let's see if that works. I'm gonna try as a student to get into this meeting and boom, this meeting code does not work. And that's because you, the teacher, have not turned this on. So I, the teacher now, am going to initiate this. I click on the code. Here is my Google Classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and click Join Now. I am now in the class as the teacher. Since I'm the host, I sh the students now should be able to join. Let's see if that's actually the case. So now that I've initiated it, the student tries to join, and it, look, it says Joe Marquez is in the call, so now the student can, can join the call, the call as, well. as well. Now, the promise is, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this camera. The promise is that if I have all the students leave first, then nobody should be able to come back in. Let me show you what happens if you, the educator, leaves first though, leaving a student still in here. So I exit as the teacher, but my fake student number one is still in the meeting. And if that student is still in the meeting, then another student can then come in and also join this class. So I'm gonna have another fake student join, and look, fake student number two has joined. And so if I click on my participants, it's fake one and fake two, but no teacher. So you wanna make sure that all of your participants have been removed from the class. So in order to do that, I'm gonna join again as the teacher. I'm gonna go back in to my stream, join now. And you can see now that fake one is in, fake two is in, and myself, the instructor, is in. So what I'm gonna do as the instructor is if I do have any lingering students, I will want to remove them from the class. So if I click on the names, I'm gonna go to fake one, remove that student, and then I'm gonna go to fake two and remove that student. And now as the educator, I should be able to now exit my meet and now if a student clicks on that link again, because I exited once everybody left, the other student should not be able to join. But look what happens if the student joins right after the meet has ended. If I click on it, then the student still has access immediately after I have ended it. Now, I don't know if this access um, is, is a, a time issue. I don't know if the students waited a little bit longer, they wouldn't be able to get in. Um, but what I have found is that if the student does exit and they try to go in again, they will still have access to it. So, um, the only thing I have found that prevents this is if the students actually leave the class and then they go back into the class and then they then they try to click on it. Then the meeting won't work. So I don't know what it is that does that. Um, I've also tried having the teacher leave their class 
and then go back in. Um, and then sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. So this little, this last part of it is a little bit buggy and I, I don't know um, why, um, but I hope that this little bug does get fixed because I do love this integration. It does a great job at doing exactly what we need and that's getting teachers and students connected in this remote learning environment with all the controls on their teacher side to start and stop to prevent any uh, any students connecting um, on this platform uh, through the teacher connection uh, when a teacher is not present. So um, I hope that that little bug gets fixed, but I, I do love that these two great products from Google, Google Classroom and Google Meet are now integrated. Thank you for watching and thank you for everything you do for our students. Have a great day.